Oof. Oh. Well guys, we made it. We're at the beginning of Westerfort, Westerfort city. It's, uh, it's not a city actually, it's the village. It's the village that I live in. And uh, I think like many other photographers and maybe people in general, that you might consider your own hometown to be a little bit boring. Well, so do I. I always feel like, oh, I need to go to a big city with big buildings and a busy nightlife to take cool cityscape pictures and uh, stuff like that. And I actually still maybe think that, but in this video, Yes, I'm challenging myself to do the boring hometown photography challenge. I want to find out if I really need to go to faraway places to take nice, cool, good looking images or is my hometown maybe pretty enough and good enough for photography. Of course, I know that it's not the town, it's actually the photographer. It's all in here. So many times I'm thinking like, ah, nah, it's not worth it to go outside. The images won't be worth my time, it won't be pretty, but doing that is actually very limiting and it stops you from growth and many other good opportunities. Opportunities like business. Because if you're out in your town and you do take some nice images and certain people get to see them, like maybe the township, maybe they will want to buy them, use them on a sign in the street, or maybe you'll photograph local businesses, maybe they will want to use your photos in some way. Of course, the villagers of your town might see your video and your photos. Maybe they'll want to hire you for, I don't know, photo shoots or something. And uh, yeah, it just, it just pushes you to be more creative and gets you, or at least it gets me, out of the comfort zone. So yeah, that's what this challenge is all about. Let's get back to the video. Alright, let's get to the photography part. So, what I want to achieve with these photos is that one, maybe someone might get a use out of it. Two, show people their own town in a different way which they haven't seen before. Three, have images that I'm myself actually happy with. And four, um, yeah, be creative, see what I can make. Man, I totally forgot to turn off the stabilization of my camera. So now my time lapse isn't as good as it could have been, but that's okay. Okay, let's go to the other side of the bridge, see what we can find over there. Holy crap guys, stuff like this you can only capture when you're outside. It is a little bit outside of the city, but hey, gotta make use of it. It looks so epic, let me show you. Really got excited, happy that I'm outside.
all right we're back in Westerford city well I never really le le I never really left so maybe you are back it's two days later the rain has stopped we've got nice clouds interesting skies and we're at the train station in the last video I got a little bit distracted I spent way too much time under the bridge I got distracted by the light took some self portraits so now we're getting back to the story and I'm gonna photograph the train station I'm thinking about long exposures because we do have an interesting sky right now and I don't think that there really are any long exposure photos of this train station at least I haven't seen them so that'll be interesting let's go At the moment, all I'm really doing is just walking around and looking for compositions. This is actually pretty cool, especially at night because the lights will light. And yeah, we don't have that many photographs in the dark from our city. Time to get up on this train station and see what we can make. The reason why I want to photograph train stations is because they are truly unique and iconic to every city or town. So I think it's one of the good things to photograph if you want to photograph a town. I think this over here is a pretty cool composition because you still get a part of the train station people will know it's a train station you get nice greens which shows like a good happy city and you see all the bikes and like the city center what's a bummer though is I can't use my ND filter on the 24 to 70 I don't have the step up rings but I can do it with a 35 prime so that's what I'm about to use Okay, time to shoot this. The 35mm is a little bit too wide for my taste for this location, but let's see what we can make. If I just step back. Okay, this can work. Maybe a little bit higher. Okay, let's try. Let me show you what this camera is seeing. Let's put it on a two second timer. Okay, let's just see. Yeah, this isn't working. Hmm, okay. All right, we are going to use the other camera over there. All right, gonna use the 24 to 70, make a time lapse. Gonna try to stack those photos together to recreate the long exposure effect. Also, almost never do that. We'll see how it turns out. In the meantime, I'm gonna get these bucks off of me and shoot some B-roll. Well guys, I think I'm gonna end the video right here. 
The point of this video was to find out if my hometown actually is boring or if I can actually take some nice and interesting photos here. I think I've proven that to myself, had a lot of fun doing this actually. I've only visited two spots of all the spots that I've had in my head and already I'm pleased with some images and I think it's fun and good to do. So yeah, don't think that your town is boring, go out and shoot!